वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल वो टू मशीन वगैरह सो आंसर के नो फुल वीडियो आर डूइंग ऑल इफ एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एट प्लीज गो एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल हिट द बेल आइकन प्रेस ऑल टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन फॉर ऑल माई अपकमिंग वीडियो सो मूविंग टू द टॉपिक दैट टेन रीजन रीजन वाई यू शुड थैंक ए सी फेर ओके वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक वेरी डीप टॉपिक आई विल टॉक रिगार्डिंग इट इट विल बिट मोर आई थिंक सो वीडियो माइड गेट टिल लॉन्ग but it is important to talk right because seafarers are very underrated but before moving to the topic one firm reminder if any synergy aspirant examination examiner or exam mini is watching exam mini is watching so i have launched already a course uh, that is synergy exam 2022 crash course go to the link in the description box enroll yourself already Lot of candidates. I think 2025 candidates already enrolled within two three days. So go and enroll yourself. And if you don't know the exact how to enroll and all, one video I've already posted that I'll pin the i button. You can watch and you can enroll yourself. So now I'll start with the video. Ten reasons why you should thank or you must thank a seafarer. So first is seafarer runs the global economy. Okay. If you don't know, ninety percent of world economy is, or ninety percent you can say ninety percent of world food, fuel, raw material, manufactured goods are delivered by sea. So, as far as that point of view in my mind, seafarers actually runs the economy ninety percent in the world. So, you remember the Swiss Canal incident? I think month of April or May. I think yeah. So. Seven days, I think Swiss Canal was completely blocked, and I think 95 millions or 100 millions US dollars. I think loss. I don't exactly remember the figure, but that was the thing. I think so. Just one route, one passage is blocked, Swiss Canal. Just one route. Now see the impact. Now, see if there are sacrifices of social life. Yeah, that point is very controversial or controversial. You can. Say, but you can, you might ask, ask me that uh, you are getting paid for that, right? So you have to sacrifice something. Yeah, I agree. Somehow I agree that we are paid a large amount of money. Definitely, no denying that. So we need to sacrifice. But there, there is a clause that in a COVID situation, what we have faced, people didn't get sign off in that time, even. Sign on, sign on, cancels. Due to lot of things happen, that sacrifice we have to keep it in mind. People have plans. Suppose someone is planning to marry on month of July, so he joined on board like December, January, and he was expecting that he'll come back within six months. Okay, six months, and then he'll come back. He'll get one month of time. He'll just take care of everything. He'll arrange everything, and he gets married. That was the plan. But due to this COVID thing and all, everything. Got collapsed. So this all sacrifices we used to done, no? We never able to attend any kind of function, marriage ceremonies, birthdays. Lot of things happen, no? So definitely, one thank you. I think we deserve. Even though some people. It happens on regular basis that they cannot even join or attend the funerals of their parents also. Cannot help. Seafarer, uh, no third point is seafarer fight the toughest seas and roughest weather. Yeah, we are trained to do so, but still the rolling, pitching, heaving that is the common factors in our life. Apart from that, we face storms also sometimes, heavy weather, rough weather, climate change. Just imagine one thing: the transition period of the any weather, like from summer to winter, winter to summer. The transition period is to stay around 10 to 12 days. Like neither cold nor hot, warm, whatever. That is the weather, the mid, 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 middle kind of weather. In that period of time, you feel sick. That is very natural. Like this time, we are in winter, and slowly, slowly, we are moving to the summer time. That is called transition period, but we used to face a regular basis. Like in China, it was like 
zero degrees temperature, right? But after 12 days of sailing or 13 days of sailing, you reach to Australia. There is 45. See the transition. Okay, so that is the thing. We used to fight this. Now, seafarers risk their lives through pirates and war zones. Very true. But now, company came up with a very good idea. Before joining a ship, they used to give you a brief idea that this ship is going to cross HRA or high risk area. Or maybe there will be any war zone. So, if you are not ready, you don't need to join. Okay. Now, fifth point is seafarers face extreme health hazards. Very important, very true. I have already made one video regarding it that health hazard faced by the seafarer especially if you are sailing in gas carriers there is a chance or chemical carriers basically there is a chance that you are inhale some gases liquids whatever you can the smells difficult now six point seafarer used to face lot of regulation and laws very true marpos solas stcw lot of rules isps ism so already i told you five five codes so these things you have to keep it in your mind apart from that in different countries different laws are there you won't believe if any deck carrier or deck officers are watching me in japan coastal water you will find different ROR you won't believe like in when you are crossing to starboard two column blast one short blast all you know but in uh, Japan that is not the case I think one prolonged blast and two short blast or one shot oh yeah one prolonged one shot dart it so this thing used to varies in Singapore crossing three green lights so lot of laws are there seafarers work round the clock with monotonous routing very true frankly speaking MLC tell you lot of things but if you going to follow MLC you won't able to run a ship simple in any condition if you if you have to work 36 hours at a stretch you have to do it no no issues you cannot complain i am feeling, feeling sleepy or something like that then you are not fit for sea simple you are not fit for sea you have to do it uh, seafarers walk the eighth point it seafarers walk the most without the basic rights see basic rights in the sense uh, if you are asking about provident fund uh, pension i think some point of time is okay some point of time is not okay if you are able to become a captain chief officer i don't think you require a pension okay and if you are selling with a good foreign shipping companies good foreign companies companies then you will find many claims issues this thing you will get and after mlc i think you are getting your rights also but Still, 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 if you compare with the shore people, then it is really true. <coughs> okay, now, 9 is seafarers are at high risk of criminalization and abandonment while performing their duties. Very true. And... Okay. Now 10th is seafarers sleep with list accommodation and communication facility. No, I don't agree with this point because accommodation what I feel is good, sufficient. Obviously, it is not 5 star hotel or at your home. You know that. That's why you join. No? So, I don't think it is a sacrifice and the communication facilities. Now it is improved. Definitely it is improved. Most of the companies will get free internet like 2 gb 3 gb per month you can buy apart from that what is the saying you can buy the sim cards lot of sim cards i have made several, several videos regarding sim cards also so i think it communication is better but not you cannot compare with shore then then you are in a you are you will be a dead rubber at sea this then you shouldn't join even okay but still you deserve a thank you definitely you can give us a thank you and give the thumbs up <laughs> cannot give thank you so give a thumbs up so, and do not forget to subscribe my channel hit the bell icon press all to get notification for all my upcoming videos so i will end this video over here thank you again for watching and signing off for the day